Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Coach Robert Roy. Welcome to Using the Better Trades Trade Station Indicator Set. If you have access to the indicator set, you're seeing this video right now, and it's going to show you exactly what we do and how do we set this up and how do we utilize it. So let's go through our disclaimer first. Basically, it says, I am not an advisor. I cannot legally tell you to buy or sell a stock. It is against the law. The SEC, which the Securities and Exchange Commission, requires you to be licensed in order to do so. I am not, and I do not want to be. So if you find an indicator or trade set up something, anything you like here today, my suggestion is you paper trade it first before ever putting one penny of real money into the trade setup or indicator. And then and only then would you do so, but fit your own personal risk profile and risk tolerance. Now, keep something in mind. Because I am not an advisor, that means I am not under trading restrictions. That means that I may choose to enter or exit a trade at any given time without prior notice. Okay. Let's take that down. <clears throat> and folks, the indicator set is made up of three different workspaces at the bottom of your screen. We're going to start off with the one that's called BT Candle Patterns. Now, <clears throat> Along with the with the indicator set was an installer. The installer will have a series of instructions to help you install the indicator uh, and get it all set up on your screen. I'm going to take it now from once you've got these three templates set up at the bottom of your screen, these workspaces, as it were. Now I'm going to take you in and show you how do we go about and utilize these indicators in there as well. So the first one, BT Candle Patterns. Guys, it's already set up with the Dow 65 is what they set it up for us. You can scroll down, add to this. You can delete these. You, you see I added some of the futures contracts in there. There's a ton of different uh, things you could do. You could add more templates in here if you wanted to and have different screens for the same thing. But what I'm going to do here is if I wanted to just add something maybe that was not here. So if I wanted to add a new row. And let's say that these are potentials for today right so first thing I want to do is I'm going to right click on the blank field or cell and I'm going to click insert label row and I'm just going to start typing these are today's bullish candidates I'll skip a couple of lines I'll insert another row another label I should say today's bearish candidates okay and hit the magic button which is the enter button <clears throat> so now if i had maybe five candidates instead of the two spaces i have in there if i just hit the insert key that adds more spaces in there so i'm going to pretend i'm not saying i am bullish on any of these today but pretend i were bullish on apple type it in and hit enter always hit enter i'm bullish on baidu and I'm bullish on Caterpillar, right? And then my bearish candidates, now notice there's only three lines on the bearish, right? But if I need more, I can insert or watch. If I am bearish on Netflix, and again, I'm not, these are just examples, Biogen, Amgen. Now, Amgen's in the last box. When I hit enter, it automatically adds another cell below, okay? So what you're looking at here is compared to where this set started off originally, it had very big headers. So this right here would have said doji, right? And you've got all these other letters here that you may not fully understand. Now, yes, you can go ahead and sort by double-clicking on a header here. And you can find that ALK on a five-minute chart has a doji. And you see the D there for doji. If you try clicking on the D, nothing really happens there. Uh, with that do with that D, right? So what we can do is this. If you're trying to find what that letter is without having to go back and find it on here, because if I go to AEP, we had a couple of candles back, showed us a pattern, but <clears throat> the pattern is over. So there's nothing else there. There's nothing telling me that the setup is happening. So here's what you do. You will notice on the top of your trade station, there is a little icon right here uh, actually, my bad. Click on the chart. I was still active on the radar screen. Check on the, click on the chart. You'll see this little icon here called Analysis Commentary. And what we're going to do is click on that. And it turns your mouse into a little arrow. You see with the little pop-up blurb there. Go over any one of the designations here and left-click on it. And when you do, it says BT Candle Pattern CH Indicator. 
bearish harami, a bearish two-bar pattern that has a small red body completely contained within the range of the previous green body. So it explains to you what the pattern is. It shows you that it's on a five-minute chart. Uh, it shows you that it's at 2 o'clock today is when it came up, 1,400. All right, uh, so there's a lot of, and you could zoom, you know, scale in on it if you can't read it and so forth, right? Print it, save it. So you can read what the patterns are by there. Now, once I do that, it's not active anymore. There's nothing there for me. I'd have to go back and click on it again. And it's not this one here, not a pen symbol. It's analysis commentary. I come over here to BH and bearish Harami. I X off. I come over here. We don't have much other than bearish Haramis here. So let's go ahead and let's just bring a different symbol up. Here's Delta Airlines. So there's HM. Click on the chart. And see, it's not there. It's only active. These are intelligent menus. They're only active when you need them there. Click on the screen. All this other stuff pops up along with analysis commentary. Click on it. Go to HM and click on the HM. A bearish hanging man. All right. So you've got some great patterns here. There's about six or eight or ten or so patterns that they created for us. You And you can see right here if we sort... If we sort by this, there's a bullish engulfing, Harami, a doji, a hammer, a morning star, right? Lots of bullish Haramis, right? Hammer, and so forth. We saw Hanging Man earlier. So there's a lot of little uh, pattern setups that can be utilized in that that you could take advantage of. So that's template number one on candle patterns. Template number two, it says MACD Stoke. And what we're looking at is this chart right here is linked to the chart on the left. And it gives us the same Dow 65, the symbol, the interval, the last price. And then high, low, and today's volume is over here. You can get rid of those if you want. All right. You can format any of these columns that you want there. If you right click on it and click format analysis technique. If I chose to not have the high and low in there, I could get high and remove, low, remove, click OK. And then I actually could resize this so I can make my chart bigger if I wanted to. Now, if you feel you have a need to put those in there, you go right back, click Format Analysis Technique. Everything that's on the left-hand side can be moved over. You may not have all the same things that I do. I may have some things created that you do not. But I think you get the idea. All right. So now BT MACD, BT Stochastics. If we sort by the alert, right, new bullish trade on AES, right, and it's uh, a bearish trade rather. It is bearish, right. So what are we looking at? This is MACD. So we're just moving down right now. Remember how MACD works. This is spring, summer, fall, and once we break the zero line to the downside, it's winter. So there's what they're saying is a potential new bearish trade. Let's see. We only have bearish right now, which is not surprising with the day. If we look at stochastics, which are down below, here's our alert. So we go to ED, right? New bearish trade. Why? Because we crossed down through the 80. If we were crossing up through the 20, there's a new bullish trade. Uh, is it Apple? No, nope, MATX, right? So we're down below our 20. You're just waiting for the cross. And there's your potential entry into a bullish trade, okay? So you can see MACD is bearish. Coming down, the stochastics are below the 20. Doesn't mean it's bullish. It's got to cross up first before it's bullish. One of the ways you can use this is you can tie them together. You could use MACD and stochastics and require both of them to have the same signal. These are right now set on five minute charts. You can modify that. If you go over to symbol, if you go over to symbol, right click on it and you format all symbols. Yes, you can go into a daily chart you can go change it to a one minute chart. So I'm going to change it to a one and click OK. Now, the intervals here still have to be changed. So if you right click on the chart and you can go to format window. 
And let's see, is it window or, nope, it's not window, it is format symbol. Okay, and then we could change it to a one right there. Now, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to cancel it. Instead, because we're already in a minute time frame, if I come here, activate the chart by clicking on it, left click, hit my one key on my keyboard and hit enter, it will change it to a one minute candlestick. If I do it again, it'll change it to a five minute candlestick. Right, I'm going to go back in and format all symbols. Change this back to a five minute. And you're good to go. That just has to reload everything now back to the same numbers, um, you know, the fives <clears throat> that I had set up in there. All right, so that's two. Number three is BT Mo moving average. Mo is momentum. <clears throat> Where's momentum going? You can sort by Mo, by momentum, right? So ALK, right? Momentum is pushing down, right? You can also do the same thing with our moving averages. <clears throat> that is KEK -E is our symbol. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. Just a little, uh, little tickle on my throat here this morning. So... When we look at the moving averages, guys, you can, so that's momentum we did. Moving averages, we could sort by moving average cross, right? So you see ALK has a moving average cross, right, where the 8 is crossing down through the 21, right? We could see that we've got it on CNP right now, where it's crossing down. KEX, K-E-X, it's crossing down. This could trigger you, signal you that something is going on. Now, this setup, the settings on here are an 8 and 21. You can go in and modify those numbers as well. The way that you do that, if you go over to the alert tab here, right click on the alert, format BTX moving average for all symbols. Right? If you go to, now there are different tabs here guys you've got the general tab where we don't do a whole lot under the general tab you go to the inputs and there's my 8 and 21 right if you go to alerts you can actually enable an alert on here if you choose style right this is how it plots the text colors now you've got various colors there you've got your signal your alert you can change these around Right? And we don't do a whole lot with advanced, leave the auto detect on there. But if you wanted to change from 8 to 21, if you want to 10 and 20, you go right in here to the inputs tab, double click on it, change it over to 10, change it over to 20, click OK, and now we've got it set for 10 and 20. Right now I would have to do it on the chart. So if I just left click on the chart to activate it and then right click on it and go to format analysis technique you can see I've got BT moving average X I can format that go back to inputs and you would change them right under inputs the same way you've got alerts style all of that is set up on on here just as it is on your template so let's go back in and change these to 8 and 21 So you can do long-term, short-term, anything you choose, right? Click OK. Now it reworks. Now here's, see, this is the type of stuff that I like, guys. I got a bearish moving average cross, and I've got a momentum shift, momentum to the downside. So I'm not saying this is the right trade, but these are things where we're tying signals together. I can come back over, and that's NI. I can come back over to the Stochastics tab, just left-click on the chart, type in NI and I can look at NI and see that my MACD is down right we're in the winter season and stochastics are giving me nothing so I can kind of tie all of that together uh, as well now it's not NI is not on my list here on the left side right so you can also format and change the pattern here guys if you don't like the bar chart left click on or right click on the chart left click first just to activate it and then right click on the chart go to format symbol when you format symbol you go to style 
And there's a candlestick. Look down here, it shows you what it will become. Unlike the open high-low closed bar. There's a candlestick with trend. There's a dot on close. There's a line on close, which is just a line chart. So I tend to use candlestick. Click OK. Up and down arrows. We'll zoom in and out. I like about that view. All right, it gives me a couple of hours. And you can do that on any of your indicator sets. Once you're done, down at the, the workspace on the bottom, if you right-click on that name and click Save Workspace, it'll save it with the same name with the changes that you just made. And that would be on any of the patterns or the, the templates that you do. Now, guys, there is there's one more thing. Hold on one sec. So the one last thing I wanted to show you here was a sorting feature. So right now, if we're sorted by symbol. If I wanted to sort by my last price, I could double click on that header and it'll sort by the lowest to the high. If I double click it again, it'll sort by the high to low. But I'm referring to sorting by the alert. Instead of me having to keep double clicking on alert, double click on alert and try to resort every time it happens, you know, every time something changes or I'm thinking about it, because see that one just dropped out. So I don't need Johnson & Johnson any longer if it's no longer a valid pattern. If I go ahead and right click on the alert form, uh, field and go to format page, right? And then the tab I want is called sort. Now, first I'm gonna sort by the BT moving average X. That's what I wanna do, right? You can start playing with some of the other fields. Just try it with just the one first to make sure something's not wrong. And click keep data sorted. And I've got it 10 seconds. Uh, it, it starts off automatically as 30. I just changed it to 10 to show you how quickly it, it actually reacts and then you click OK. And what's happening is there are no candle patterns right now at all that are setting up. So there's nothing there. There's also happens to be no uh, momentum trades setting up as well. As that pattern shows itself, and I'll give it a couple of seconds, I'm just going to hit pause on the video till we get a couple of patterns in there and I'll show it to you. So here PFE just popped in at the top as a new bullish trade right on a candle on a, a moving average cross okay so you can click on pfe now remember this is going to auto sort every 10 seconds that's way too fast the I, I, you know 15 seconds is fast a minute is fast i'm using five minute candles here if you're trying to see it early yes you can go ahead and maybe do that but um, it, it's just a little bit too quick to be able to contend with right now remember once you are done and you like it and you like what you've got and you like your sort features you want to right click on the workspace again at the bottom and you want to click save workspace so it will auto sort notice there's just nothing in there there's no candle patterns at all i mean um moving average cross at all but you could do it on stochastics you could do it on candle patterns you could do the exact same thing on all of them all right so with that ladies and gentlemen we're done have a wonderful day god bless and I'll see you all soon. I hope this was helpful. Take care, folks. Bye.